We were ten in the in the family. I was the ninth in the family, and I used to play with my brother more than my sister. I loved to play balls and other things. the common when I was 19. I thought of it when I was 18. And then I went to work before I entered the common. I want to see the world first. I enjoy my life outside before I enter the common. First of all, I was thinking the sisters are working for God and I want to do something. I don't think I can do much, but I can offer myself and learn how to offer myself to God. I saw the sister of St. Paul de Chartres, very simple life, and I saw one sister especially, she was sweeping the floor, and I like simplicity. I say, well, if I join the sister, do something for God, I can sweep the floor too. I can be just like ordinary people. common that I have to do whatever they want me to do. I used to do what I like, you know, but there I learned how to, to serve God. I have to follow the, their rules and community. I have many friends in my community. I enjoy with the sisters, especially with the school sisters. We have fun together. kindergarten and helping the school, uh, helping the office too, uh, teaching the kindergarten and called me to go to England to continue my study. Well, I went to England by surprise and I have, to, I have taught in England and I enjoy it because the boys in England was very lively and they usually did ask me to go and watch their football and then they put their football name Miriam. So I have to go up to support them. Everyone enjoys, so I enjoy school life very much. After coming back from England, was, I was hoping to come back, to go back to school, because all the teachers were waiting for me. But I got an assignment to go to the Nordic Shed to teach. It was a great surprise for me. I was 10 years not with mistress. In the beginning I felt a bit hard, but afterwards I enjoyed with the young sisters too.
10 years, they will send me back to school. I was very happy to go back to school. But after one year, I got another surprise. The surprise to go to a country that I do not know. That is Australia. I was sent to Australia in 1984. I went there to a country I have no, no notion of anybody there. I do not know anyone. But I wasn't afraid. In Australia, I started to start a school for overseas students. And we had to receive boys and girls from overseas. So we have to build buildings, boys and girls. And we waited there for about two years before we could start anything. Surprise, we were preparing our school. And when the, the day we started, we were waiting. All the teachers were dressing their gown to waiting for the students and how many, one by one, we have 13 students only. And then we have to start to, with the 13 students. After 10 years, I went to Lane Cove because there was a house for, for the boarders. When they go have holiday, they go there to stay. So I look after them that time. Then I think I went to Brisbane. I stayed in Brisbane for a few years and then I went to Melbourne. I offered to go to Melbourne with two young sisters who were preparing for their perpetual hours. So I went there with the two young sisters and after one year preparing them for the perpetual vows and we had a big ceremony in our church, St. Patrick Church, and then the first time they have somebody making their profession. I stayed in Melbourne for about 15 years. I feel now in Australia as my second home. I feel at ease here and I meet everybody and we are, we are just like one family, the big family here in Australia. First, we ended the convoy, we do not know anything. We have to learn gradually, but God will help us. We will gradually deep in Christ. You know, my life, I think, is always Christ's life for me. Simplement dans le silence, 
Rien n'est plus important pour moi Que d'habiter en ta présence Quand viendra-t-il ton jour mon Dieu Où j'apercevrai ton visage Sera là, c'est merveilleux. Les bras ouverts sur mon passage. Jésus, me voici devant toi. Tout simplement dans le silence. Rien n'est plus simple. Ta présence 